Rob from Hobzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got another bottle of beer from the fantastic Cloudwater Brew Co. in Manchester. You can see on there it is the version 9 of the double IPA. Um, this is the first of their monthly release. They're going to be releasing it every month from now on. 9% um, ABV as always. Beer in hops. Pilgrim Alpha Acid CO2 extract as always. This one, the big difference with this one is that they're using... Um, Citra and Simcoe lupulin powders, which is a thing that at first had when Magic Rock um, trail in Cannonball and in then in their uh, Hypnotist IPA as well. So the full hopping regime of this is mosaic um, Nelson Sorbin, Simcoe lupulin powder, Citra lupulin powder, Simcoe Citra and E431, which must be an experimental hop. Then malts, Golden Promise dextrose, caramel, and wheat. So. Let's get this open and see what it's all about. It's constantly evolving, constantly changing based on their experiences of various IPAs from around the world. Let's see what this one is going to be. Pour in relatively bright. I'll pour it all in because I, mean, I don't, they don't, but I'll condition these. But yes, yeah, I, I've got to say, I'm quite surprised. So we've got, on this one, they've gone away from the murk. That kind of, that, no haze in this one, none of that New England haze. Pretty pin bright. Perfect golden beer. Pure white foam on top, so let's give it some nice sniff. Let's check out the aroma. That's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. Sorry, still a little bit. Got a bit of cold still. But that's absolutely raging. That's lovely. It's, it's a combination of kind of quite... Sharp citrus and soft pale stone fruit. Orange big time, pineapple, grapefruit flesh. Some of that softy air, that pale stone fruit, you're getting apricot and mango. There's something slightly floral in there, I can't figure out which, what kind of flower really. Maybe a hint of a kind of sweetness you get from elderflower as well. But that's beautiful, that's a beautiful smelling IPA. No kind of indication towards it's 9% ABV. It smells amazing, let's dive in. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. That's really good. Mmm, yeah. One thing that I didn't like about the last one was kind of, uh, there was issue with the texture to it, a bit buttery. This is this has kind of got rid of that. And I've got the kind of, the tang, what the last one did. It's nice and clean. Take great clarity to the flavour, which for me is kind of mango and grapefruit. It does have a kind of like a, a sharpness of um, lime flesh. The flesh of a lime. Slight honey note. Maybe kind of apricot danish going on as well. So there's a little bit of kind of malt sweetness in there. But that's beautiful, yeah. Fantastic. I mean, it's definitely um, along the lines of something like Heady Topper. Obviously not as murky, quite a bright beer, which you, you often kind of think of West Coast when you think of kind of quite bright, pale IPA. I think they've done a fantastic job with this. Getting back to where I, I, I kind of liked it as well. One of the best ones in quite a while. That lupulin powder. Gives a real nice kind of clear hot flavour because you lose any kind of like vegetal kind of quality that you might get from, especially from a holy pot, holy pops, and maybe from a kind of like tea nightly pellets. But that's absolutely fantastic stuff. So that is a bottle of Cloudwater's Double IPA version nine. Fantastic. So that's the one which is um, was released mid um, November two thousand and sixteen. Fantastic stuff. Thanks Lucy over at Cloudwater for helping me out getting a couple of bottles of this when I was in Manchester at work the other day. Big thanks, I really do appreciate it. I'm Rob from hopsy.com and I'll see you next time. Cheers.